hey guys welcome to gardening a bit and i hope you are doing very well today we are going to discuss about one of the most demanding plants which is the gardenia i would provide complete info about growing and caring for gardenia with all updates here is one of my gardenia plant which i shifted from pot to ground in 2020 as you can see it's blooming quite well honestly saying it looks much better at night I recorded this footage at 2 am in the morning. Plant has covered lots of space and I don't see any diseases or any issues on my plant. I also grow them in pots and here is one of my plant which is growing in pots, looking much fuller. Same way here is another one. No worries, I am going to give you all updates about the plants that I grow in pots. Let's start the video with some of the most common problems that we often find on our gardenia plants and how to fix them. I think this is the most important part of this video. Number 1. Gardenia bud drop problem. Gardenia may drop buds in many cases and they are lack of nutrients, lack of water, Lack of oxygen in the roots means the soil is soggy. Buds may also drop in case your plant is getting exposed to the too much intense direct sunlight. Too much direct sunlight is not ideal and they don't prefer if the temperature fluctuates too much. That is why they bloom in spring or in fall as the daytime and nighttime temperature is almost same. Let me give you some more info about the plant which I am growing in ground. I am growing in this place so that it gets around 3 to 4 hours of direct sunlight. Again because of the generator on the back side it's protected from afternoon sunlight. I also have other big trees just behind and surrounding it. So my plant actually get mostly filtered sunlight, not too much intense direct sunlight. As a result, my plant don't lose a single bud and it blooms quite well. It's not a good idea to grow them on terrace under full sunlight. I had to do many things to protect my plants which I am growing on terrace. However, in cooler climate, it can tolerate full sun and they are going to bloom well. Second problem, lack of chlorophyll means the leaves are turning yellow and as a result, plant is unable to produce enough energy. Here comes the second most common problem and that is gardenia leaves turning yellow. This symptom is also quite common on many plants like hydrangea, ixora, etc. Getting few yellow leaves here and there is okay and you can already see some yellow leaves on my plant. But more yellow leaves means there is a problem. This happens when the soil is not acidic. We can make the soil acidic by following any of the below methods. Number 1. Apply aluminium sulphate. Dose is half teaspoon in 1 liter water and we can apply once in 25 to 30 days. Please note this takes time. Number 2. Add more organic materials like vermicompost, homemade compost or leaf compost. Number 3. Add effigro iron. I do the same thing whenever I find yellow leaves on my Ixora plant. Finding yellow leaves on Ixora plant is quite common. Third problem and it is gardenia leaves turning brown. This happens whenever you do underwatering or overwatering. Gardenia is not a fast growing plant and always let the topsoil before watering. Fourth common problem is gardenia not blooming. Well, if this is happening, it's because of the problems that I have just discussed. Now let me show you what I do to get flowers on my gardenia plants whenever I grow them in pots. Let's report this plant. It's not looking good and I would be happy if I can make it grow well. At the time of buying, the plant was really unhealthy. There was only few soil left in the root ball. Anyway, to grow the plant, I have decided to use one 12 inch deeper and 12 inch wider pot. Selected the basic potting soil mix and to keep it simple, took three components this way. 
फिफ्टी पार्सेंट बेसिक पटिंग सएल मिक्स टूवेंटी फाइव पार्सेंट भार्मी कम्पोज एंड टूवेंटी फाइव पार्सेंट कोकोपीट बट इफ यू लाइक यू कैन अल्सो यूज दिमिलार पटिंग सएल मिक्स लाइक कैमेलिया आई अलरेडी हेव ए भिडिओ अन कैमेलिया प्लेंट adding 1 kg of vermicompost again so that my plant grows well what is the best time to grow the gardenia well we can grow them at any time of the year except winter winter is the dormancy time the day temperature of 18 to 21 degrees celsius and night 15 to 18 degrees celsius is ideal for gardenia To get the flowers much faster, you can report in the middle to end of February. Having said that, if possible, try to buy plants with lots of buds on them, because if you report plant like this in February, most likely you are going to get blooms only by the next year or after five to six months. Watered well, and I let the plant on terrace itself under full sun. You must see the updates. Honestly saying first year the plant did not grow well this is the update exactly after 12 months plant has revived very well if we compare how it was before that is why I try to get a plant with lots of buds on them i was not in a hurry and it was okay for me after one year and one month finally my plant is starting to bloom It was the month of April. As you can see, the flower petals are wilting. It's because it was on terrace and it was getting lots of direct sunlight. As soon as I saw it, I protected my plant from too much direct sunlight and provided only three to four hours of direct morning sunlight. What about the nutrients? I do it like most of my other plants and apply one more extra thing. two components and first one is 20 grams mustard cake powder instead of this you can use anything that is going to provide higher percentage of nitrogen second component is 30 grams bone meal and instead of this we can use rock phosphate please note in case you are using smaller pot like 8 in avoid applying more than 15 grams mustard cake and 25 to 30 grams bone meal at once We can repeat the same once in 45 days to 2 months and we can start feeding them from January end to September. No need to feed during the dormancy time which is the winter. I apply the third component to avoid losing buds on my plant. It is potassium humate and we can apply once in 25 to 30 days. We can start applying as soon as the plant start to produce new bud. The dose is 2 grams in 1 liter water. What about pruning? Well, whenever we grow in pots, it won't be required to a fan. But still, if you want to prune your plant, do it May or June, or we can say once they stop flowering and have enough time to grow back. In May June, they usually don't bloom because of the extreme hot weather. plus if you prune at this time they are going to get enough time to produce new growths again please avoid pruning in october to november i have bad experience of pruning at wrong time i took 2 plus years on this video so that i can provide you 100% honest info with real footage i did the same thing with my camellia plants as both are somewhat difficult to grow plants so i would highly recommend you to check out my next video about growing camellia perfectly in pots hope you found this video useful and if you did i would really appreciate if you give it a like share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit thank you so much you was just awesome take care and enjoy